I read the article, then I read the script. He did a heroic deed, but he ends up getting blamed for the actual crimes. It was a great American screw over. Looks pretty bad. I was taken in by the fact that the FBI and the uh, news media were so relentless with very little to go off of. If we don't lead on this story, what are we doing here? Okay, we're running it. This film is an interesting sort of study on the assumptions we make about people when we're desperate for answers. It shows how with just a small amount of information could turn into a nightmare. I wanted to do this movie because it was a Clint Eastwood movie. I've always wanted to work with him. I've admired his work for as long as he's had a career. When I heard he's going to do this and he wanted me for this part, I just flipped. The joy of recreating is an actor's dream. You get a great appreciation for what the real person's life was like. Richard Jewell is such a rootable individual. I want to root for him in life and on screen. It's really exciting to play a character who is this complex. The FBI is looking at Richard Jewell as the bomber. We really had a lot of questions for Clint, kind of like, why did you want to make this movie? What do you think it's you know, telling about American culture in 2019? He said it was a movie he'd want to see. He really felt it was an American tragedy. All these years, I struggled with it myself. But now, Clint Eastwood is going to do something about it. It's an important theme that never gets old because it keeps happening. This man's name is Richard Jewell. He's a hero. Clint he does care about people and telling great stories. It's been astonishing to see him put this together, trust everybody involved, the crew, the actors, with such a kind of grace and calm demeanor. It's so uniquely Clint. I didn't do this. <laughs>